Welcome to Big Progress, and today we're going to explain what a check valve for a water heater or boiler is, what it's for and how to use it. An electric water heater makes the house more comfortable by providing the residents with hot water. But those who use it often know that the device can carry risk of rupture if it's installed improperly. To avoid this, you need to ensure the proper assembling of the entire water heater system, which always includes a check valve. The function of safety valve To understand the function of the safety or pressure relief valve on a heater, you need to refresh the school physics course in your memory. When heated to the temperature of 90 degrees centigrade, water increases in volume by 3%. It's easy to calculate that inside the tank with a capacity of 50 liters, the volume of hot water will increase by 1.5 liters during operation. And if this extra water is not drained out, the tank of the heater will simply burst. To prevent this, a safety valve should be installed. Installed. When a critical point is reached, the mechanism triggers and the excess liquid is drained into the sewer. That's what this part is intended for. It's a device that protects the boiler from the excess pressure that takes place when the water is heated. Working principle. If you look more closely at the design of the valve and the way it works, then you'll agree that this is actually a system of valves, because there are two of them in the housing. The work of the first one is clear. It lowers the pressure by draining the excess water. This part is situated on the side of the housing. And what is the purpose of the second one, the non-return valve? This part is attached directly to the water heater inlet. It prevents cold water from flowing out of the tank when there is no pressure from the water pipe. This is how it all works. As long as the pressure inside the water heater tank is less than the pressure in the inlet water pipe, the liquid presses the non-return valve plate and so flows into the tank. Once the pressure equalizes, the spring tightens the plate to the housing of the valve, stopping the liquid flow. Then the valve stands by. The water inside the heater is gradually expanding from the heat, and until the pressure reaches the critical point, the valve system is shut. When the limit is exceeded, the pressure of hot water compresses the safety valve spring. The plate shifts inside the housing and opens a hole where excess liquid will flow out. After the pressure stabilizes, the spring presses the plate back, setting the valve to its original state. Now that we know how exactly this part works, it's easy to see why water often leaks near the output. This always happens when the water temperature increases and the pressure decreases. This is a sign of normal operation of the device. Then the question arises of what to do with the liquid flowing from the side hole. To drain it, a PVC tube is connected to the outlet. The tube must be reinforced and attached to the pipe with a clamp. These requirements must be met, since a working pressure in the range of 6 to 10 bars can rip and rupture the tube. Some people ask the question, why some tube drains are made transparent? The answer is simple, it's for convenience. It's easy to check the work of the valve through the transparent tube. The user will be able to see whether the water is flowing or dripping, which can indicate a malfunction of the mechanism. Different types of valves There are various designs of check valves in the market. Although the forms and principles of operation are almost the same, there are still some differences. Each modification of the design makes the heater more handy, but sometimes it can do worse. A safety valve with a lever is convenient for a control check of the mechanism for operability, which must be carried out every month. Turning the lever opens the drain hole. This also helps to empty the water heater completely in case of emergency. Some models have levers fixed with safety screw. It is to protect the mechanism from accidental opening. When installing or replacing the valve, pay attention to the presence of a direction arrow and markings for the permissible operating pressure. In the absence of this, you may determine the direction of liquid flow by the location of the plate inside the housing and how to find out the working pressure, since it can be tested only by checks. Well, it's impossible and salesmen will not help you either. Therefore, it's better not to install such models. The nozzles which the water drains through are also different. If the nozzle is long and has herringbone edge, then it will be convenient to put the tube on it. The short nozzle will also have a thicker part at the edge to prevent the tube from detachment, but there won't be enough space for a clamp, so the tube will have to be wrapped with wire. If the safety valve is not equipped with a lever, then it's only intended for manual draining. It's impossible to check its operability with a test drain. In this case, a removable service cap on the housing of the part is a great advantage. By opening it, you can get access to the inside of the part and clean it. Also, there are cheap models with no possibility of maintenance at all. 
Don't consider buying them because they are dangerous in use. These types of valves are usually used on heaters with a capacity of up to 60 liters. In models with bigger tanks, the valve is sold with a pressure gauge and a shutoff valve. The pipe fitting is threaded to reinforce the drain tube attachment. Installation rules In order for the heater to work safely, a check valve must be properly installed in the system. Usually, this part is sold with any water heater. If not, you'll have to choose the valve separately. Considering the operating pressure of the heater, you will be able to find all the necessary parameters in the manuals. You may install the check valve on the boiler with or without adapters, but the rules should be followed. The check valve must be installed on the water pipe supplying cold water into the tank. The valve is placed between the water lever and the tank. If the thread fits, it is simply screwed onto the threaded branch pipe of the tank, and the tap is screwed directly onto the valve thread. The valve has to be installed in the direction which is indicated by the arrow. All connections are additionally sealed with linen thread or PDFE sealant. It is necessary to tighten the thread strongly in order to avoid leaks, but don't make too much effort. The bronze housing may burst, and you will need to purchase a new valve. Some valve models may have a pressure response regulator. It loosens or tightens the spring. Remember that initially the manufacturer has already adjusted the mechanism and you should not make any changes in it if you don't have any experience in plumbing. After the installation, fill the tank of the heater with water to check the entire system. If there's a leak, you can try to tighten the connections. Otherwise, you will have to drain the water and to reassemble the device. You can check the work of the valve by turning the lever. If it causes the water to flow, and if turning the lever back to the starting position stops the flow, then the mechanism works properly. Possible breakdowns and methods of fixing The main signs of a breakdown of the check valve are continuous leakage of water, and the opposite the total absence of water flow. If the liquid leaks only when the device heats water, then everything works alright, that's what this valve is intended for. Here are the possible causes of leakage. Sometimes water leaks from an unheated boiler. In this case, check the water flow timing in the tube. If it increases at first and then decreases, then perhaps the water pressure exceeds the limit. The non-return valve is permanently open, and the new coming excess of water is ejected permanently. Once the water pressure in the pipes normalizes, the leak will stop. If the situation repeats, then you should install the pressure reduction gear in the plumbing system of the house. Sometimes water leaks because a piece of garbage gets under the inside locking plate of the valve. You can fix it by just turning the emergency lever. The fast water flow will wash away the dirt, the plate will fit its place tightly, and the leak will stop until the boiler heats. If this doesn't work out, the system should be disassembled to clean the valve by hand. If this doesn't work either, the only option left is to change the valve for a new one. Leaking water brings additional costs, but reduces the risk of rupture of the water heater. So it's bad if the water doesn't leak at all. The reason is usually in deposits inside the pipe fitting of the mechanism itself. Only manual cleaning or total changing of the valve will help here. Some models of valves may leak because of incorrect installation. They need to be screwed in only four turns, otherwise the adjustment will shift. Now you can buy advanced models with a limiter that can be tightened up completely. It is the best option for those who have no experience in plumbing. Sometimes the reason of a malfunction is not in the valve but in the heater itself. This may be due to the rapid increase of pressure at the outlet of the device when water is heated. There can be several reasons. The first one is the break of the thermoregulator and it can be replaced with a new one. The second reason is much worse. Sometimes cheap Chinese water heaters just don't have enough space for liquid expansion inside the tank. This can be fixed by installing a hydraulic battery or just by purchasing a high-quality heater. A good and properly installed safety valve protects the residents of the house from the rupture of the boiler and so from hot water burns. The important thing to remember is that you shouldn't install only a non-return valve. This can make the situation go really wrong. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in order not to miss anything new.